Okay, and our last speaker for this session is Yubo Chi, and he'll talk about the mechanism of polarization switching in charge order induced ferroelectrics. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, it is my great pleasure to talk about our recent research. Mechanism of polarization switching in charge order induced ferroelectrics. Sorry. Oh, there's something wrong. I can use my own. It's not the least. Is it? Uh, which one do you have? Yeah, he yeah. changed this to his own one, but it's. Oh. Oh, oh it's, it's working now? It is working. Okay, it's working. Okay. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, there was something wrong with the pointer. OK. So in strongly correlated materials, the charges for transition metal I-terms can disproportionate, leading to a break of the symmetry and the ferroelectricity. One of the most famous charge order induced ferroelectric material is lutetium ferrite. Previous experimental works has, have already confirmed that lutetium ferrite has two different kind of polarized states. However, PE hysteresis loop, which is a sign of polarization flipping under electric field, has not been observed. Another famous example of charge order induced ferroelectrics is magnetite. Magnetite has a very big and complex primitive cell, different from, different from lutetium ferrite. It is wi widely accepted that its polarization is flippable under electric field. Besides, there is another charge order induced ferroelectricity in superlattices. This is a structure which was proposed in the previous paper from our group. Lesnum vanadate and the strontium vanadate is also ferroelectric. It has a perovskite structure with lesnum and the strontium I-terms occupying the A sites, and the vanadium I terms, which can disproportionate into vanadium-3 and the vanadium-3 plus and the vanadium-4 plus, occupy, occupying the B site. In this talk, I will focus on this material, and later I will demonstrate that the charge ordering pattern of this material is strongly coupled to its light distortion. And its light distortion has a significant influence on the polarization dynamics under electric field. This slide shows the outline of this talk. In the beginning, based on the super lattice, I will introduce two kinds of light dist dist distortion coupling to the, uh, coupling to the charge ordering, polyhedral breathing and off-centering displacement. Based on the types of the light distortion coupling to the charge ordering, I will classify all the charge ordering materials into two different categories. And next, I will demonstrate that the polarization dynamics of such two different types of charge ordering systems are dramatically different. And finally, we will apply our theory to explain the experimental observations in magnetite and lutetium ferrite. The first light distortion I would like to introduce is uh, polyhedral breathing. The polyhedral breathing uh, can be quanti quantified by the ratio between the volume of the two polyhedrons associated with different monadium items. Generally, the, arc the oxygen octahedron associated with the vanadium 4 plus should be smaller compared with that associated with vanadium 3 plus because the ionic size of 4 plus is smaller than vanadium 3 plus. The other light distortion is called of center displacement, which can be quantified by the distance between the center of a polyhedron to the position of the vanadium. 
Generally speaking, vanadium-4 plus has a larger displacement, also because of the ionic size effect. Because in the perovskite structure, the smaller the B-side ion is, the larger the displacement is. Okay, in this talk, in this study, we carry out density functional theory plus U calculations for the superlattice structure, and we found for the optimized structure, the value of R is 0.91. Then we artificially increase R to 1, and for each R value, we optimize the structure with only R fixed. We can see that as R going, to, to, as R going toward 1, the off-centering displacement of modernium 4 plus keeps increasing, which means if we artificially take away the polyhedral breathing character, the other effect of centering effect will take over and become dominant. To further investigate how the stability of different polarized charge altering states, the stability of such two states can be affected by the light distortion. We generate different structures with different R values and the different displacements of the two vanadium atoms. And for each atomic structure, we calculate two, an, two energies of two electronic states. And for the first electronic state, the bottom vanadium is vanadium three plus. As a result, its polarization is pointing up. And for the other electronic structure, the bottom vanadium is four plus and its polarization is pointing down. This is the energy landscape for equal, R equal to one. And as a function, uh, as a function of the displacements of the two vanadium, we can see that this energy landscape is separated into two parts by the diagonal. And in the upper part, it corresponds to the structure in which the vanadium three atoms has a smaller displacement, and its polarization is pointing up. And for the other half, it corresponds to the structure with polarization pointing down. Because of the symmetry, we can see that the energies corresponding to the local minimum uh, are identical. Then we decrease R a little bit by shrinking the volume of the polyhedron at the bottom. We can see that the R polarized state is less stable. And there is an energy difference between the top two polarized state. If we decrease R further, the energy difference increases further. And here, we should mention that for this R value, this local minimum is very shallow. But we should also note that this R value is, very, is still far away from the optimized R value, which is 0.317. And for such a wide R value, we cannot generate such an energy landscape because the R polarized state is no longer a local minimum. If we put the extra electron in the vanadium, it will automatically go to the other vanadium. So as a result, we cannot calculate the energy difference between two electronic states directly. But we can estimate this value according to the values we have. We plot the energy difference between the two polarized states for our values close to one. Then we extrapolate the line. And from the intersection with the line corresponding to R equals to the optimized value, we estimate the energy difference, which is 340 MeV per formula unit, which is quite large. And uh, in order to induce such a polarization flipping, such a big energy difference should be compensated, which requires a larger than 16 MV per centimeter electric field, which is unrealistic. Next, in DFT calculation, we apply electric field up to 13 MV per centimeter onto the superlattice with the Barry's phase method. We didn't observe any polarization flipping. We should also note, during the application of electric field, the R ratio changes very little. This is because this polyhedral breathing mode is infrared active, and uh, it does not respond any to the electric field. And as we mentioned before, 
for such an R value, it requires an electric field larger than 16 MV per centimeter. As a result, the polarization cannot flip. So till so far, we demonstrate that polarization flipping under electric field cannot be achieved in polyhedral breathing type charge ordering system. But how about the other type, the off-centering displacement type? Here, we use a fixtures invented example, which is also such a super lattice, but we fix R equal to one, which means we artificially remove the polyhedral breathing character. And uh, we apply electric field, and at each electric field, we fix the R value. We indeed observe a polarization flipping at the electric field equals to 2.5 mV per centimeter, which can be achieved in experiments. And the mechanism is that such a lattice mode is directly coupled to electric field. And the electric field can lower the energy barrier between the up and down states and induce the polarization flipping. Okay, so this page shows the comparison between the two types of charge ordering materials. The take home message is that uh, the polyhedral breathing type cannot have the polar polarization switchable by an electric field because the lattice mode is infrared inactive. But the polarization in the uh, off centering displacement type charge ordering materials, it can be switched by electric field. But the example we use here is only a fixtures one. Later, I we will apply our theory onto real materials, such as lutetium ferrite and uh, magnetite. Here, we should emphasize because the items with different valence states are not orderly stacked as a superlative structure. As a result, we can no longer use the R ratio to characterize the polyhedral breathing. We use another physical quantity, which relates to the difference between the volume of a specific oxygen and the average volume of the oxygen in the entire crystal. As a result, a smaller polyhedron will give a negative QPB, and a larger one will give a positive value. So in this slide, we plot the magnitudes of light distortion for different items in different materials. Each bar corresponds to a transition metal item, and the blue bars correspond to the items with a low valence state, and the uh, orange ones correspond to items with high valence states. And here, we can see that in lutetium ferrite, the six polyhedron, they have noticeable difference in the sizes of the polyhedron, which is, uh, which is similar to the unstricted superlattice case. As a result, it is a polyhedral breathing type charge ordering system. And uh, as we demonstrated before, its polarization cannot be flipped by an external electric field, which explains why we cannot observe uh, polarization flipping in experiments. However, magnetite is a little different. Here, we plot the magnitudes of the 64 items in the primitive cell, which are involved in charge ordering. We can see for several items, their polyhedral breathing magnitudes are very tiny, indicating that for such polyhedrons, the characters are of centering displacement. And as we mentioned before, for such a type, such a type of type of charge ordering materials, its polarization can be flipped by electric field. In this slide, we show more details about the mechanism of polarization flipping in magnetite. type. Uh, here, in each primitive cell, primitive cell, it has more than 200 items and the 64 item, 64 iron involved in charge ordering. As a result, because of the huge computational cost, we cannot use first, first principle method to simulate the electric field. Instead, we use a semi-classical method. We assume that each iron, ha each iron has approximately the same dynamic, dynamic matrix. As a result, we can simulate electric field by uniformly displacing the iron items. 
and before the displacing and after displacing, we calculate the bond valences of all the 64 atoms. And in each case, we assume that the 34 iron atoms with the smallest bond valence are iron 2 plus, and the other half are iron 3 plus. Here, I should also emphasize the sequence of the atoms are exactly the same as the sequence of the atoms in this graph. We can see that if we apply electric field compared with the original figure, the oxidation states of these atoms flip and induce a change in polarization. The change of the polarization induced by a such a change in the charge ordering pattern is about five micro Coulomb, Coulomb per centimeter square, which is in the same order of magnitudes in the same order of magnitudes with the, exper with the experimental results. Okay, so in summary, in this talk, we talk about the charge ordering system and uh, introduce two types of distortion and based on the types of distortion, I, we classify the charge, charge ordering materials into two categories and they have different, dramatically different polarization dynamics under electric field. And uh, we emphasize that only the off-center displacement type, its polarization can be flipped by electric field. And we hope our study can provide future guidance about searching for switchable charge ordering ferroelectrics. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thanks, any questions? So in the magnetite case where you have this flipping of the, yeah, uh, this one. So where you have the flipping of the, the, yeah. Are these all in the same layer? So is it four, four in one layer and then there's, there's a flip in the next layer to up? Um, if we check the position of the SI terms, it is not necessary that uh, they occupy the labouring layer. Okay. Layers. Actually, they could be quite far away. Okay, so yeah. they're not correlated where they are in the positions, okay. Yeah. So, so sorry uh, if you said this, but what's the space group for the magnetite case? Uh, sorry, I couldn't memorize exactly. It should be something around CC, space group nine. Okay, and the, the, the switching uh, fields you talked about, I mean, they seem big to me. I mean, uh, are, are they within the... Um, you know, before there's dielectric uh, breakdown uh, in these systems? Uh, sorry. You, the fields you mentioned, uh, like uh, uh, two or over two megavolts per centimeter? Yeah. Are, are, those, uh, are those within uh, what you can support in these materials before yeah. they break down? I think so, because in previous experiments, uh, they mentioned that the value for flipping the polarization is 1.7 mb per centimeter. is approximately the same. Maybe a little different, but in the same order of magnitude with the value in our study. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. If that's it, then we thank you very much for your talk. Thank you.